Hi everyone, welcome back. Challenge day number three. I have my wood round on here already. These are the ones I got off of Amazon. Really nice pieces of wood. I have my pillow paint all ready to go. And let's get into the colors. This is pewter pigment. It's a set I had purchased off of Amazon. I mentioned it all yesterday. Really nice set. And I'm just making a big circle of the color. It's a glorious color. I love it. Pewter. And this one is a pigment also that I got off of Amazon. And this is papaya. Luscious peach color. I'm doing a set of three. This type of wood round. The other one I had yesterday are just pieces of wood that I had a gentleman cut for me. This is Arteza Pearl Marmoth Red. I always had trouble saying that before. And this is the color that stands out the most, but it doesn't have as much sparkle as, as the papaya pigment, strange enough. But this shows up with the cells and it looks really good. Looks like I'm putting a lot on, doesn't it? I am trying to be more creative and bigger. We all get stuck in a rut and we all do the same things all the time. So I have paused the coasters for a little while. And I'm doing some of these now that I've got a whole bunch done. So my cell activators, PBO, titanium white. It's working really, really well for me. Amazing how certain paints will react with the Floetrol. Of course, it's Australian Floetrol. I am on the last of my jug I got from Australia three years ago, so I'm surprised it even works. But that tells you it works. And this is Amsterdam Oxide Black. It works really well with the PBO. I don't know why this combo works so good together. But it does. I see quite a few bubbles coming. No surprise there. One of these days I'm going to get brave and use my little mini blower again. I didn't do very well the first few times. I have it, but it's sitting there waiting. Like I said, we get stuck in our ruts if we do the same things all the time. Okay, my head's going to get in the way to blow here.
and it's going to come back. It's a lot to blow. Sometimes I get dizzy. Just blowing in that black area it has nothing. And it's coming in now. Kind of went over this way. We'll get it back. Slowly. And by doing that, it looks like I filled it all in. Just wondering if this is on here center. Maybe it isn't. Draped it over a bit. And like the other two videos, I am using my skewer to spin. Slowly at first. And you can see it's already going that way. Maybe I did have it. <laughs> I don't know. Guess we'll know by the end of the video. It still looks a little funny when it's spinning. Just making sure I got coverage there. That looks a little better already leveling out. Yeah, I had it on there crooked. Yeah, look at that already. Boom. Good spin. Picking up some of the pillow paint here because it's messy. There we go. And that way again. You can see as it's spinning, it's got gray on the bottom here, so that means it's gone over. On one end only. It'll go. Wow, pillow paint. So much. Whew. I do reuse my pillow paint. I mentioned uh, Louise Mackay who does this. And I thought, you know what? It is true that you waste a lot of paint. So I started doing it. And the paint works great. Surprises. 
because it you hate to waste so much. Yeah, it's looking better now. It's all balanced, I think, as it, you see it spin. And it looks like it's all over the edges now. Gotta go back this way though. I hope these rounds turn out really good because I like them. I bought sets of six. And I have five sets of them, so I guess that's 30 rounds. <laughs> These are bubbles that are stopping the paint from going. Just saw them. Checking for movement while I pop some bubbles. Also bringing it down. <laughs> and it's that way. As I struggle to spin it. Getting there. Still gotta come this way more. Let's see where we're at. Not much movement on here. Wow. That's a surprise. Persistent bubble. trying to bring that down a little. That worked a little bit. So these little lines in here, I've been doing this kind of thing on them because that's where the bubbles have sat. And I've kind of stopped the paint from rolling there. So I just bring some interest there. Not pretty sometimes. Sometimes they work out good. And others not. And then sometimes you can't get rid of them. But I'll add a couple things here. A couple things there. do much about that. Popping another one. Wow, lots of bubbles on this stuff. Today anyway. One more spin. So I will post these five days in a row just so you can see the progress and see how I'm doing with the five. <laughs> so this is number three. Look at the bubbles. 
going to have to do an inspection of these before I put them to bed. But I will show them when they're all dry and before I resin them. Just so you can see them. Oh, I can't get away from those. Once I do that, I usually spin it so the paint will seep into the little lines that I've made. Sometimes they uh, don't get covered with paint. Well, I think that's good enough for today. Day number three. And a five day challenge. Turned out pretty nicely, actually. I'm gonna hopefully make somebody happy with these colors. They're not my colors. Everybody knows I'm a blue lover. So thank you for stopping in and seeing the challenge for today. And come back and see the next two challenges. I will be posting them five days in a row, like I said. So hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you can come and see what I create and give me any feedback any comments I respond pretty quickly and share the video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post the next five days everybody have a great day and thanks for stopping by bye